I'm going to preface this review by saying I know absolutely nothing about comics. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the genre. Um, I do enjoy it when it is very, very well done, but I'm very picky. So keep that in mind as we go into this, that I am not a comic book aficionado. I don't claim to be. Um, I know very little about the process. I know very little about the characters in this book other than what I have seen in the movies. Um, my full no my knowledge of Batman extends only to his theatrical universe. On with the review. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another comic book review. I've done a couple of these in the past. Um, only when something really stands out uh, that is really, really good or really, really bad do I bother doing a review of a comic book series. Or when somebody sends me something for review. My friend uh, Leertes, he has sent me stuff. Um, I think some, I think someone else sent me something that I never actually got to because it wasn't my deal. And just flipping through it, I was like, this is pretty bad. So if you're that person, I apologize, but I, I never read it. Um, to be honest, that's me. Um, but today we are talking about Batman Hush. Uh, the, the whole reason I read this, first off, I got Comixology because I, I have so little time nowadays. I want to try and r still continue reading, but, uh, and, I, and I can consume audiobooks and comic books about the same speed. So I'm blowing through a lot of audiobooks, um, and I'm going to be going through a lot of comics, maybe two a month for you guys. <clears throat> I'll probably be reading more, but I won't be reviewing them all, because once again, I don't know that much about comics. Um, maybe one day I'll get better, but w what we're talking about here is the reason why I picked this one up. So there's all these rumors that the new Batman movie with uh, Robert Pattinson, uh, Colin Farrell, um, what is it, D Paul Dano, um, numerous people, uh, numerous big name stars are going to be in the next Batman reboot called The Batman, I think. And people are speculating that this is the Hush storyline because we've seen the Penguin, we've seen, I don't want to spoil something else, we've, we've seen something else that, you know, that kind of spoiled it for me, people talking about it online. So if you don't know the storyline, stay away from it. it. You'll probably enjoy it more than I did. Um, and I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I liked it. But there are some valid complaints that I want to bring up that people are having. Um, I, I both loved and disliked how many characters there were in this um it's you got batman superman catwoman huntress <clears throat> then you have uh, a joker riddler penguin is e even in a couple frames uh there's um a fear hush is a new villain uh so so many that like uh, killer croc clayface all, all these people are in this huge rogue gallery of a uh, of villain scarecrow is in it um and i don't i hope these aren't spoilers but it is i think they're all on the cover i'm not sure harley quinn's in there um but how they all tie together is what i liked um i i'm not a huge fan of piling in this many villains um and i understood why it fit the the tone and the themes of the book i get it they're going back to batman's past i i understand um it but he, here's the thing it just went on and on and on. There, there are several sections of this comic where they're having a really cool fight and we get stuck with Batman's in, internal monologuing and I think it takes away the thrill of the fights. Um, that, that's my opinion. Um, how else are you going to get this information that's so important they need to put it in the thoughts while he's fighting? I don't know. Um, it, I, I don't know if they could have done it better. Once again, I don't read too many comics. So is there a better way they could have done it? I don't know. What I'm saying is I enjoyed the comic book for what it was, and I do hope that this is the plot of the movie, um, especially because of the twist. Unfortunately, this the twist was absolutely ruined for me because everybody I saw talking about the movie was talking about a certain character um, and his character arc, and who, that literally spoils the, 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 the twist of who Hush is. So please... Try and stay away from spoilers because if the movie's the same as this this comic series, you were I would say wait for the movie anyways. I know Batman fans and comic book fans are mad at that already, but I would say wait for the movie um, because there there was one they force a red herring really really hard, um, and as long as you don't know who the character is, it's it's fine. But if you don't, this comic book's kind of on the boring side. 
I did like the set pieces, I did like the action, I did like the adventure, but there were plenty of times when I was taken out of the story by the authors trying to put me deeper into the story. Um, I know this is this sounds like I'm crapping all over this this graphic novel. I'm not. Uh, I I enjoyed it. Uh, I read about two basically two issues um, a day, and like I said, I did enjoy it. But fans. I also went back and read fan reviews, and there's some very valid complaints about how many characters there are, and how when you have that many characters, it takes it takes the I don't know it it takes the spotlight off of the story, um, and it doesn't give those characters time to shine. I feel, and this is another thing that I got from someone else's review. Um, there, someone else said that there's not enough that. You shouldn't start here, which is what I did, unfortunately. I should have read the reviews first, but I try to stay away from things like that. Um, I'd already been spoiled. I didn't even know it. I'd already, I'd already been spoiled on Twitter. But you have to know the history. You have to know... They try to build up the history, but you have to know the history of Batman, of Jason Todd, Dick Grayson, whatever the other one, Tom, whatever. I don't I don't know. But it's all, all the Robins, all three Robins, you have to know that history. You have to know all the history of all of these ro this rogue, you know, house of whatever, rogues gallery is what it's called. All these villains, you have to know all their backstory and everything. And they try really, really hard to give you like a little, little explanation and description of where these characters come from. But they do it at the most inopportune time. It's right when they're starting to fight, or right in the middle of the action, and I'm like, like I just want to get to the action, because um, we all we all know who Joker is, but I don't know that I know who Scarecrow is. I don't know that I know who Clayface is. You know, I don't. And Zaz, I don't know. He's not in this, I don't believe. But Zaz is a character from the video game um, that you know. I don't know his backstory. Um, for, so I don't know if this is like a running theme in comics. If you if you miss something, you're just you know S O L. I don't know, but uh, I think my final thoughts here, again, is I enjoyed it, um, I had fun with it, but once I backed away from it and gave it a more critical eye and read some reviews, I was like, yeah, this really does have issues, but I'm also not the type of person to say that I'm going to change my opinion on whether or not it's good or not uh, based on other people's opinions, because while I was reading it, I was enjoying it and I was having fun. Does it have problems? Sure it does. Did I notice while I was reading? No, I didn't. Um, so... If you, if you want a more realistic review of, I, I would say go over to Goodreads, uh, be very careful of spoilers, I would say go over to Goodreads and read some of the critical reviews, some of the three-star reviews, if you want a better critical review. Um, for me, I kind of loved it, um, but once I stepped back from it, I'm like, eh, maybe that, but I enjoyed it while I was reading, and that is all that matters. So have you read Batman Hush? Uh, let me know down in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it. Whether or not you hated it, if you loved it or hated it, tell me why you loved it or hated it so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another comic book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.